challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. You just leave a like on this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. And that's it. Try it. Well, hiya. I'm Derek from uh, Solo Moto UK. Today we will be fitting uh, handguards on the uh, Scram 411, the Royal Enfield Scram 411 that is. Um, I've just been over to um, Karazaki dealer where I got the bike from and uh, these are the uh, these are the hand guards you get a uh, I'll just show you you get a spacer you take the old ones off uh, you get the uh, genuine Royal Enfield um, ones same as the Himalayan you take the uh, original bar end off fit this spacer this spacer here you get it out that one there onto that and then just screw your bolt in and that's the job done if you get new big bolts with thread lock already on these are um, price wise genuine parts uh, 62 pound and 49 pence just to save a bit of wind off your uh, the bone, you know what I mean? It saves a bit of wind off your uh, hand a bit. I know it's some out at the moment, but in the cooler weathers it'll be um, better. But it'll be a five second job, and here we go. Oh, that weighs some weight. That is heavy. Let's get a bolt out of here. I should have had them all ready up and down. <laughs> Derek never does, does he? No. Am I getting? Yes, that's the right way. It just goes like that. That's it. And then pinch tight onto it. Does it go that way? Uh, that way. Easy enough to do. Walking here a bit or something. I can hear something buzzing around. Oh, right, let's just put that there. Get me a key, which is a a six mil. A six mil. And you just tie to them up. That's it. Job done. I don't suppose you have to be really tight. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. That's it. JD. Yeah, job done. There's one. That's how quick it is. And number two, let the box off. And number two on our left hand side. Get them off. Put them down there. Yeah, that's all right. That is. Looks effective. It might need lowering a bit. So we'll come out and lower that. This is how easy it is to do. In, crack it, and there we go. Easy. This is how quick it is. Uh, I want the uh, bolt. Got my spacer. Got my spacer. Start it off. Yeah, 
just uh, bring that one down a little touch or up. So where's that mark? Probably go under the mark. There's a mark inside. There we go. Job done. Look at that. That looks uh, different. I'll just zoom in. That's the uh, hand guards now fitted. Um, <coughs> the old uh, bar ends can go in the back. And there. It's all at my old workbench. I sit out here, do everything on that. <laughs> Needs painting. But there you go. And looking from this perspective, that's what you got. I've got 422 miles on the clock now. It had its service today. I went over to pick the hand, uh, hand guards up and uh, there they said, somebody hasn't turned up, would I like to um, have my bike done? And I said, yes. So I thought I'm gonna have it done. So there we are, all done. That's the only thing that's going on it, nothing else. No hard luggage, I promise you that. But um, I'm happy with the bike. The more I ride it, the more I like it. I've made a video today. And uh, you should see that first before this one. Or I might put this one up first, I don't know, depends. And uh, I went over to Karazaki, went back through the country, had lunch at Old Park Farm. Ended up at Corley, Corley Rocks, where it's a well-known place for witches and being haunted. And uh, I'll show you the cave where the witches used to live. We used to climb in them when um, when we were kids. We used to cycle over there from Coventry to there. But um, I went off road a bit up there, across the through the woods, and that had a bit of fun with the bike. Absolutely brilliant done it with so much ease anyway thank you for watching if you haven't done already please like share it and most of all bing hit that bell button thank you very much bye for now from Derek Solo Moto UK